who is actually one of the top so clean performers in the company, currently converts 35 to sometimes 40%. So he's gonna give you his sales tips on how he sells so clean and why his numbers are so high. So go away, Perfect. take it away, Joe. Scott. All right, so we're here to do so clean sales tips and training. Um, so I put together, Rachel and I put together this PowerPoint with some tips that I use that I find very effective on so clean calls. Um, so tip number one, it's extremely important to build rapport on these calls. Um, after you get the customer's name, zip code, you know, it's really important that you build a strong connection with these callers, you know, get them comfortable. It's, you know, a large purchase. I notice the, I do better when these customers have a good connection with them um, and I build good rapport with them. Um, you know, rapport, weather, where you call them from, stuff like that. Um, tip number two, you gotta ask the customer if they are experiencing increased coughs, colds, sinus problems. A lot of these customers will get bronchitis frequently or even pneumonia from breathing in a lot of that harmful bacteria. So a great question I like to ask them is, do you, um, have you been getting a lot of coughs, colds, pneumonia, or even bronchitis? You know, it's a great need. It's a great hot button as well, you know, when they tell you, oh yeah, I've gotten pneumonia a couple times this year. So you can use that in your rebuttal process um, always ask them how often they're cleaning it. You know, education is very important as well. You want to inform the customer um, that the CPAP machine is a breeding ground for mold, mildew, bacteria. Because as we all learned in, in science class at a young age, mold bacteria thrives in dark, warm, moist environments, which pretty much describes a CPAP in a nutshell. It's dark, it's moist, and it's warm. Uh, next tip. So when you go into the main offer, um, I always do what they call an option close on it. Um, I know it's not in the script this way, but it, it works well for me, is I'll tell them about the three monthly payments of $99.95 plus the $19.95 shipping, or I'll say, or if you prefer, we can do it one easy payment today of $2.99, I'll save you the $20 in shipping and handling, what works best for you? And at that point, they'll tell me what works best for them. That's what we call an option close. Why do you think the option close is so effective? Because the customer, you know, it gives them, you know, option, like they're in control almost, you know, it kind of gives them the idea that they're making the decision, you know. So that it works well for me, so I always, always do that, you know, which method works best for you. And then, you know, whatever they say, I'll go into it at that point. They say the payments, you know, then again at the end, after all the upsells and everything, I'll re-remind them, you know, hey, I know you said you want to do it in monthly payments, but I can save you 20 bucks in shipping. You still get that 30-day money-back guarantee. Why don't we go ahead and do that for you instead, okay? Very assumptive, you know, end it with an okay. Uh, let's see, next tip we got. They say that they need more time to think about it or it's too expensive. You know, that's where you guys use your probing. You know, I completely understand. However, you know, you, Mammy told me earlier, You've gotten pneumonia this past year, right? You know, if it, tie downs, I like to use tie downs a lot. You know, if this could help you and you didn't have to worry about, you know, getting sick or ending in the hospital, I'm sure you'd agree it's well worth it, right? At that point they say yes, great, where are we gonna send it to? Plus, you know, you are, you know, another one I like to use is, you know, we're making an investment in your health today. Can we really put a price tag on what our health is worth? It's another good one. Um, if they wanna know if it's covered by insurance, uh, you do it more at this time, you know, like it's not covered by insurance. A lot of people ask you that right in the beginning, you know, kind of answer their question and then redirect, you know, unfortunately right now it's not covered by insurance, but what did you like about it that caught your attention? And go back into the program or build report if you haven't built report at that point. Um, if they say they need to speak with their spouse, um, great, I have great spouse rebuttal. I've printed it out, I've made it available to Tempe and Mass for you guys. You know, basically your spouse is gonna have one of two questions for you. A, how much is this gonna cost me? B, is it worth our investment or not? Now I'm sure you'd agree with me the best way for making an educated decision is that you need to try the product first, right? Great, and that's exactly why we give you a 30 day money back guarantee. For any reason you're not happy, I'll refund you that whole product price back and that sounds fair, right? So my big thing is I love tie downs. Tie downs are great, they, they work. You know, you guys, and those rebuttals I gave you, have built-in tie downs for you, you know, so that's another spouse objection. Um, and so clean, yeah, the biggest thing that I noticed with these is, you know, being a little bit more assumptive, building really strong rapport with your callers. That's 
probably the biggest, most important part of any sales process is to build that connection with your caller because your caller is going to make their buying decision in that first you know, 20 seconds, statistically speaking, of whether or not they're going to buy from you. So tonality is really important, probing is important, and you know, more importantly, use those answers they give you when they say no to remind them why they called you in the first place. You guys have any questions about so clean? What you guys run into on calls? Anything at all? I had one today on the cartridge filter kit where the person said that, uh, well, this is going to be too expensive. I started mentioning that thirty dollars every six months, mm -hmm. and they said they wanted to pray about it, or they had prayed about it, and it's just too expensive for them. They can't afford it. And I really didn't know where to go from there. They wanted to pray about it. That's an interesting one. Need a good God. Um, well, that's actually the whole I want to think about it routine, right? It is, you know, and, you know, God helps those who help themselves, right? <laughs> <laughs> but I've been kind of afraid to, to go over that part, you know, because I feel like the cartridge the filter. Cartridge filter have kind of been. So when I offer the cartridge filter, you know, I, I always start it out with you, you have everything you need to get started. You know, you're going to get a filter, you got everything you're going to need. If you didn't want to worry about this cartridge filter in six months, I can include a second one for you for with $29.99, and then you're covered for an entire year. You don't have to worry about anything. I don't get too pushy with the upsells. You know, I usually kind of leave them open door on the upsells. So, you know, just don't get too pushy with them and, you know, just remind them, hey, you are getting everything you need today to get started with it. You know, so this is optional if you want to get it or not, which is what I find beneficial. Put it out for you guys. I mean, I've done a lot of the, the footwork for you guys, you know. So if you just use those rebuttals and, and follow the sales tips, I think Robert, you're converting at 20, over like 25 percent. Amazing. You're doing a great job. Using those, yeah, man, those three main rebuttals, especially. Exactly, because I mean, they have the tie downs built in there for you. you just got to read them. You know, that's the, the biggest thing. You guys just use them. Use the tools that we give you. And you'll find they work. I mean, Robert uses them, and he consistently converts at over twenty-five percent. So, any other cases or questions or objections you guys have had that you haven't been sure how to handle it? What's the most common objection you guys get? What's the most common objection you get when you hear it, Joe, and the one that they stumble on the most, trying to overcome it on their own? The, common, the most common ones I hear, which I've written out rebuttals for your most common ones, are it's too expensive. That one I hear a lot. Um, you know, that's where you re-remind the customer. Okay, I understand. However, earlier, you know, you told me A, B, and C. If you didn't have to worry about A, B, and C again, I'm sure you'd agree it'd be well worth your health, right? And today we're making an investment in your health. Can we really put a price tag on what our health is worth to us? Great, where are we going to get this out to? That's the other thing I hear too a lot, is you guys rebut, but you don't close. You need to reclose. That's getting any kind of demographic information, their last name, zip code, email address, anything that's going to get you into that demographic information and then to the credit card. You're how, always going to remember to close at the end as well. How important is connection on this product? Connection is it's probably the most important thing on this product, hands down, I would say. You know, Because if the caller A doesn't like you, they're not going to trust you, so they're not about to spend three hundred dollars with you if you haven't built a strong enough connection with your caller. It's just not going to happen. So connection is probably the biggest thing I find on these calls. That's worked for me. Half the time, if you build a strong enough connection with your caller, you know when you get to the price, they're not even going to really hesitate too much with you. I think maybe a few of my sales I've had to kind of fight for, but the most of them, I get to the price and they're just you know they pick because I do the option close and they'll say you know I'll try it out. If you build the connection, they're going to believe you. They're going to trust what you're saying to them is true. If you don't build a good connection, they're not going to trust you. Also, the rebuttal process is important too, you guys, because a lot of times I hear, you know, callers will say no, and then you guys will immediately offer the refurbished unit. So all you're doing at that point, when you're not rebutting them, you're not reminding them of their needs, you're devaluing the product immediately. You know, and at that point, you've pretty much lost the sale because you're saying, hey, this isn't worth three hundred dollars. Let me take $100 off of it for you. So you got to make sure you follow that rebuttal process to rebuild the value in the product. So by the time you get down to the refurbished unit, you know, it's more of like, I'm going to help you out today. So don't immediately offer a refurbished unit. Anything else you guys have run into on these calls? 
any wow. questions? I was asked where it's made, and I, I kind of assume it's made in China. But... Um, so I know we're headquartered out of Oxford, Massachusetts. Um, I don't know exactly where it's made, uh, but I do know that the team of brothers, I believe, right? It's, I'm not sure on the brother thing, but I know they're from Oxford, Massachusetts. Yeah, I rarely get that for them, yeah. every once in a while. Also on the website, soclean.com, there's a lot of information about the uh, guys who got it started, and it did start in Massachusetts. <coughs> so if I ever get that question, that's kind of like with some of our other products, well, we know we're headquartered out of Massachusetts. I have the best response to that. That'll usually get you over that, well, where is it manufactured and stuff. Anything else you guys run into on these calls? Anything you guys find difficult? Deflecting is also another one they hear a lot too. A lot of these callers will, you know, start right out the gate and you're, hi, ah, you know, thanks for calling so clean. Can I grab your zip code? You know, I just, I'm just calling. I want to know the price. You always got to acknowledge by saying, great question. I'd be more than happy to go over that with you. What's your zip code? And go on to report. So it's all about redirecting and then getting back into the sales process left off. So you got to, you know, take control of these calls. Another thing to make. Being assumptive, tie downs, connection huge. So I think if you guys find that if you build that good connection with your callers, you use the rebuttals that we've made available to all the agents, you guys will see your numbers go up. I know Robert, you're, you're doing very well and that you use all of those, right? I do. Yeah. So you get a lot of those people, like I said, with what's price, want to give your name, mm -hmm. much less zip code, but I've, I've been convert too many of those. It happens, you know, but through the process it works, you know, so just follow it and you guys will see your conversion go up a lot higher. All right. Well, thank you so much, Joe. You're welcome. Utilize the tools that he's gonna that he's just taught you. Take him out on the phone and make some money. We'll right. follow up with another video in a few more days.